Hi, this is Asen. Today, I would like to share how to create a progress bar. If let's say we have a heavy Lumi cross and we interested to let the user to know how many percentage of the work has been completed, actually we can create a progress bar to indicate the progress. Let's try first. We go to developer tab, then we click on Visual Basic, then we click Insert User Form. Okay. If let's say we want to change the title. We can click the properties window. Okay, change under caption here. Okay, maybe we change to a please wait. Okay, if let's say we want to design our own progress bar, then we click the user form, then click this two box. Okay, actually we can design the progress bar using label, text box, or maybe option. Okay, we try for option. Okay, for this option button, delete the caption. Okay, then under the group name, okay, simply give a name. Okay, maybe I will follow this one option button one, so I write one. Okay, the purpose of giving group name is to ensure that we can select more than one option button at the same time. Okay, for example, like this one. If let's say the group name is the same for these two, means that we can choose only either one. But if let's say for option button, I type two here, means that I can select option button one and option button two at the same time. Okay. If let's say I want to show the progress only if the work has been completed for ten percent, twenty percent, thirty percent, and so on, means that in the multiple of ten. Then I need only ten option buttons. Okay, this one is three. Okay, then four. Then five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay, the last one, ten. Okay, if let's say we want to show the progress in words, okay, we can add label, and make sure the label is long enough. Okay, we can change the font and the font size here. Okay, we can type. In progress. Okay. Then we can copy this one and paste. We we'll have same formatting. Okay, for this one, delete the caption so that we can ask the VPA to show how many percent of the work is completed. Okay. And then one more thing. A very very important step. Okay, click the user form, then look for show model. Okay, change to false. Okay, so that when this user form is found up, the VBA will still continue to run. Okay, if this is true, means that the VBA will stop running. Okay. Now we can run our cursor ready. Okay, if let's say I want to insert the code in this command button for the user form one. Okay, then I will double click on this command button. Okay, before that we have to bear in mind. Okay, before I call this user form, make sure I close this one. Okay, so I have to close this first. So I will unload this user form. User form. One okay, unload this one, then call this one, then user form five dot show. Okay, if let's say the progress here is based on the workload here. Okay, if let's say I have a total of this one, so means that the workload will based on I over A times hundred percent. So I will insert the code before I. Okay, have to before I. Okay, now we can. If let's say we want to use the option buttons with random variable, 
Okay, then we can do something like this for k equal to 1, 2, 10. Okay, because I have only 10 option button. Okay, then user, user form 5 dot controls. Okay, then option, option button. Okay, make sure O and B are capital letters, it's a must. And K dot value equal to true. Okay, value true means that selected. Okay, false will be not selected. Okay, if let's say we want to show the how many process is completed using words, okay, then we can write on this label. Okay, this label is label 2. So we can write user form user form five dot label two. Okay, if let's say we want to show the words then we use caption equal to how many percent is completed. Okay, based on this value will be I over A times hundred percent. Okay percent is completed okay if let's say i want only whole number instead of in decimal places okay we can use a random variable c okay then we call the excel function application dot worksheet function Okay, dot round out. I will use round out. Means that if let's say the work is completed from 1% to 10%, I will show 10% is completed. Then 11% to 20% will be 20% completed and so on. Okay, I over A times 100%. If I want only whole number, so the decimal places will be 0. Okay, then this one change to C. Okay, if let's say we write a fixed value here, so means that every time the the process is running, okay, all the button will be selected. If let's say we use this one, so what we can do is we have to introduce a random variable, but we cannot use C because C is up to one hundred. Okay, but what we have is only ten. Okay, so what we can do is we use maybe another random variable, then we use D. Okay, D, then D will be equal to C over 10. C over 10. So means that when the process is completed for 10%, so 10% over 10% will be 1. So the first option button will be selected. If let's say C is 20, so 20 over 10 will be 2, so the second option button will be selected. If let's say 100%, then 100 over 10 will be 10, so maximum will be 10, then we are right. Okay. However, we cannot start this one when C is 1% until 9%. So what we can do is, we have to add a condition here. Okay. We will consider this code only if C is more than or equal to is more than or equal to 10 okay then we can consider this one okay then we okay for k equal to 1 okay then next k next k okay start with if then we end with if Okay, then after everything is completed, make sure we close the user form. User form 5. Okay, now we can check and see. Maybe we run for 10,000, then 1,000 each. Start. Okay, as you can see, just now it's empty. The window is empty. This is because maybe the workload is too heavy. Okay, what we can do is we insert a code here okay we type two events so that we can force the excel to do this for us okay we try one more time 10,000 okay 
1000 so as you can see okay okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you